Hey lizards, Liz here with a post burn candle review. Today I've got five candles. I don't know how new these are to you guys. I actually don't even know if you can get your hands on these currently, but it is so hard to keep up and burn these candles at a rate where I can give you this information. So if anything, make a note, they tend to come out again. So something sounds really intriguing you know, get a little wish list going on and um, yeah, so things that you know that you want in the future. All right, so this um, was brand new to me. I think I got it pretty late in the season, the welcome home. Whew. Burn issues with this bad boy, oh my God. I have to say, I have to take responsibility. I trimmed the wicks from the get-go. Um, I have to stop doing that. Even though they seem really long in the beginning, sometimes you just gotta let it go. And then if it is a wicked burner, then you know you can monitor it and make adjustments. But I think just to cut them from the get-go is really a mistake. So I did that. And then the first burn just would not take off. It was just taking forever to pool. Um, I actually broke a, a, a toothpick and like put the tooth away from the wick to try to give it some like girth to like create a wider flame did that for a while um, then those toothpicks fell as soon as it became you know really liquidy um, so I had the wood kind of floating around in there for a while but man this thing sooted like crazy even though the candles the wicks were super nubby the whole time um, so just a hot mess all around. Um, I had to cotton ball the wax out of there numerous times. Um, I actually just poured it out when it was liquid is what I did. So um, with that being said, I really liked this on cold and I mean, there are just so many good candles. I might get this again. Um, the scent was a little on the softer side, but it was adequate. Um, this was like a yummy, edible vibe to it. The notes were um, cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds, and brown sugar. Um, it was warm and comforting and cozy. It was a good candle, um, but it was a little softer. So I, I this was like a one room burner for me. And then as I like walked to the room, I could like smell it. But definitely not a house filler. Um, but a large room, it did fine. Um, so yeah, it was it was just okay. But you know, it was a good scent. Um, now this one was much stronger. Was a house filler. They all can't be tens. That's what I'm always saying. Spiced chestnut. Really like this. I already have a second one. Um, got my hands on that um, right away. So this is um, roasted chestnut. Mold spices, dark rum with uh, barrel aged cider, spiced cider. Excuse me. Um, I was saying in this one that I wasn't getting any rum. But the other day, I had this going in my room, and when I walked in, I was like, huh, it smells like eggnog in here. And then I kind of realized that I think eggnog invokes the rum and the spices. Um, so that was kind of interesting, not a, a scent that I mind smelling. Um, so yeah, I just, this one I really liked. I felt like it was strong, again, warm, cozy, um, and, and totally nice for after, you know, the holidays, after Christmas when it's still totally winter time. Um, I liked it. Yeah, I would, and I would give this like eight and a half, nine throw, you know, it was, it was good. Um, this one, not so much, <laughs> um, bourbon maple, um, you know, I killed it. It was fine, but this one to me was a little, um, waxy and just kind of boring. The maple was really subdued, um, again, adequate for a room, not a house filler. And for me, there are just, there's just way better options. Yeah, this is just okay. And I love maple syrup. I'm super, super into maple, but, um, Barrel aged bourbon, gosh, such a mouthful. I'm having a hard time getting that out today. Uh, sugared amber and maple wood. So yeah, I, this one I wouldn't be getting again. This one I just burned today for the first time. I had my husband, um, we've got this new routine where he'll light a candle in the morning while he's making coffee. And then I wake up 
you know, an hour and a half to two hours later, and as I walk into my uh, kitchen, my house smells lovely. It's a nice treat in the morning. So I pick out my candle the night before that I want them to burn, and so that was this today. Also, a really nice one for after the holidays. While it's still winter time, this is like perfect for January, February. Really like this candle. Um, it is lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, and juniper berries with essential oils. Little body care, slightly on the masculine side, but not cologne, not like um, mahogany, teak wood. It's not that strong at all. But is a strong enough candle. I mean, totally had adequate throw. I could smell it as I was coming down the hallway into the main portion of my house today. I'm really happy with this. Um, can't speak to burn stuff yet. I don't know, this went four or five hours this morning. Um, really, I'm happy with the throw. Um, that's definitely the most important part. Um, and really, I care for the scent. It's great. So, yeah, that's... It's another one that just like kind of feels nice for um, massage. It just, I feel like it lends itself um, really nicely. And then here was another real winner. I would absolutely get this candle again. Um, I'm about at the halfway point here with um, vanilla birch. Um, this was a really, another unique scent um, to me. Did not know what to expect. Still don't know what birch smells like per se. Um, this kind of reminds me of a scent that, um, you would get, um, like in a reed diffuser. It, it, this has a sophistication to it that, um, is not really in a lot of the candles that I lean towards, like the baked goods and stuff like that. Like, ooh, sweet, sugary, yummy. This is, um, kind of like a grown-up candle. I don't know, dare I say sexy in some way? It's just... I don't know. Is it sandalwood that's in there? Yeah, it is. Um, I just really like it. Yeah, it's got good, adequate throw, um, better than just the one room, you know, but it's not, you know, a, like overpowering um, smell. Yeah, it's like, it's just right, everything about this candle. I will say, um, that the vanilla is really subdued. I don't get a lot of vanilla in here. Maybe the vanilla like softens um, some of the masculine notes, but it's not like, it's not like some with other candles, I would say that like the sugary tone is help bringing something down. There's really no like sugary or vanilla tone to this whatsoever. It's a note, but it's not something that you really smell. Yeah, so this one's a little bit, you know, harder to describe, especially with the notes that are given. Um, but this is a really nice, like, homey scent. It feels, it feels really nice. It smells really nice. So that's it. Five candles post-burn for you guys. I hope to catch a good sale. Ciao.